Hey friends, Sonia here with Ellie and Mac today, and today I want to show you this really fun hack for a gathered front dress. I've seen a lot of maternity dresses that are this style that just have the gathering in the front, and I really love how that looks. Um, it's really nice for as your bump grows, then uh, accommodating the size of uh, your baby bump no matter how far along you are. So this is the dress that I made. And I used a combination of the breezy pattern and the be captivating. So I will go ahead and link those patterns in the description box below in case you don't already have those two patterns. They're both fantastic. Um, I really like the breezy for this hack in particular because the front and the back are actually cut where the curve is longer in the front and the back um, than on the sides. So it's really nice for making sure that that front hem doesn't rise up too high the bigger your bump gets. So this hack is uh, going to be a combination of those two patterns and let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> So first pattern piece I am going to alter is the skirt. Now the back of the skirt is not going to change at all so you can cut that out as normal. But the front skirt is where we're going to add a bit of uh, width in there so that we have extra fabric for that gathering in the center. Now since we're only gathering in the center, I don't have to slash and spread, which is what you would typically do for um, adding some more fabric. But what I am going to do is just go ahead and add all of that distance right in the center there. So the breezy pattern is cut on the fold and I am just going to add an extra inch and a half between the pattern piece and that fold which creates an extra three inches in the center there. I think that's going to give me enough fabric to gather. And so we're going to go ahead and just measure that out so it's nice and even all the way across and we will cut out our pattern piece. And then just for my own reference, I'm going to add pins where we extended that so I have a little bit of reference as to how much fabric was added. And then we will move on and make our adjustments to the bodice piece. So with our bodice, all I'm doing is raising that line about one and a half inches. And how much you raise this depends on the look you want, your fabric stretch, and then also your side waist if you have a long torso or not. And we have a video on side waist measurements, so you can watch that. I'll link it down in the comments below. And what I'm going to do is draw a vertical line from where the waist used to be up to our new line so that I can make sure where our new waistline is is just as skinny so we don't have extra fabric there. And I'm just folding it across a little bit. That way it kind of trues up that measurement and I'll just clip that into place. So now we have our new adjusted bodice piece and the waist seam has been raised an inch and a half. My fabric does not have a ton of vertical stretch, so this is a little bit closer to an empire waist uh, waistline or basically right below the bust. I think in the future if I was using a fabric like this that didn't have a ton of vertical stretch, I would make it just a little bit longer, but that's the fun of pattern hacking is we get to play with all of these things and come up with all kinds of new styles and all that good stuff. So I'm just cutting out my two bodice pieces. I do have the fabric folded over. So we have the two pieces mirrored and those are ready to go. We are just gonna make those same adjustments for our back bodice piece and that is to lay that bodice piece down on the fold, fold it up an inch and a half and cut that out so that the height of the front and the back bodice pieces match. Next, I am just using the fabric that I have left to cut sleeves out. I am doing short sleeves on mine, so I'm just kind of tetrising that out of the fabric that I have left. We've got our two sleeves, which are cut on the fold, and then we will go into our skirt assembly. So we have our pins on our skirt where we added that extra three inches. Now I'm just pinning an inch and a half on either side of those, which will help me evenly distribute those gathers. So I'm gonna take out my two original pins and from the wider two pins, I'm gonna sew some gathering stitches and then we'll gather this to the width of the back skirt, which you can see I've already sewn those side seams. So now that I have my basting stitches in there, I'm just going to pull those and get that nice and evenly gathered. Now what I'm going to do is flatten out those side seams and I'm adding a couple of clips so that the parts that aren't gathered are nice and flat and even and then I'll just distribute my gathers the rest of the way. 
And I wanna take my time here and make sure that that is gathered nice and evenly across the center since it is in the center front of the dress just to make sure it looks nice. You're gonna use the Be Captivating instructions to assemble your bodice. Once that is completely assembled, and then we will have our skirt wrong side out with our bodice right side out to put them together. I like to mark my centers on the skirt and the bodice to make sure that that gets lined up nice and evenly. You don't want those gathers to be off to the side or anything. So marking the centers makes sure that that gets all aligned properly. So once you have that slipped inside and they're right sides together, we clip all the way around. Make sure that you are using a lot of pins, especially, or clips in this case. I typically use clips all the way around and then when it comes to gathering, I will use pins. And the reason is because you can sew over pins if you want to, but it just gives you a little bit more accurate placement as far as keeping those two fabrics together. So I like with gathers to use pins, but I'll use clips for everything else. Once that is all the way together, you can go ahead and sew this seam. You can, if you would like, add clear elastic in the waist seam to keep it nice and tight up against the body, and that's personal preference. Once you have sewn that waist seam, you can go ahead and hem your sleeves and your skirt if you haven't already, and you're all done. So look at those gathers in the center. They look super, super cute. I really love the shape of the breezy for maternity because it's longer in the front and the back, so it's perfect for covering that baby bump, and great job on your new dress. Thank you so much for joining me today for this hack. I hope you really love it as much as I do. Uh, my 30 week bump is very happy in the amount of fabric that is uh, in the front of this dress because it is just so comfortable. Um, this is a double brushed poly that I got from Olga's closet and it's just so, so soft and it's making a wonderful maternity dress. I am excited to wear this for the next couple of months of my pregnancy until my little one arrives. So I hope you guys enjoyed that too make sure that you pop down in the comments and let me know if you want to try this hack, if you plan on it, or if there's other hack ideas that you have for either maternity and nursing or just regular pattern hacks. Always let me know what those are because I love to hear from you and we will see you in the next hack video.